respective temperature and bacterial growth. The temperature totally affects the growth of bacteria, either for better or for worse. In some cases, it does not allow it to grow easily, and in other cases, it makes it grow too easily. This is due to the growth capacity of microorganisms, which decreases proportionally to water activity, which means that when the temperature is adequate, the amount of water that allows bacterial growth can be restricted. As we can see in the following chart up here, there are different types of bacteria that like different types of temperatures. For example, the psychophile it is a cold lover, the mesophile is a cold eater, the thermophile is a moderate lover, meaning that it doesn't like a very high temperature, but it doesn't like it very low. The hyperthermophile is a heat lover, and the hyperthermophile is also a heat lover, meaning that they can grow more easily when the temperatures are high, while the psychophrophile grows more easily when the temperatures are lower. Body fight back bacterial growth. The immune system is in charge of protecting the body from bacteria. What it usually does is alter homeostasis to maintain levels within the body. This is achieved by adjusting acid levels, blood pressure, blood sugar, electrolytes, energy, hormones, oxygen, protein, and temperature. In this way, it is possible to keep these values within normal limits. How does bacteria grow? Asexual reproduction involves one parent and produces offspring that are genetically identical to each other and to the parent. Sexual reproduction involves two parents and produces offspring that are genetically unique. The growth of bacteria normally occurs thanks to what we know as binary fission. One cell divides and creates two new ones and the entire structure of the bacterium cell is duplicated, forming clones. The species of bacteria we chose was Salmonella and it's the first cause of food poisoning and when doctors or specialists said uh, food poisoning it's mentioned that they're usually talking about salmonella and it can cause diarrhea, fever, stomach, and cramps, etc. Its scientific name, as I said, it's salmonella. Its lower classification is salmonella enterica or salmonella ba uh, bongri. Its classification of bacteria is gamma proteobacteria. Its family is Enterobacteria CAE. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it exactly and its domain is a bacteria. Its phylum is proto proteobacteria, as I said, and order is enterobacterials. Uh, the reproduction consists, and because it's a prokaryotic cell, it does not have a gender, a male or female version, so bacteria reproduce asexually, dividing itself by mitosis. Type of reproduction, the mother or the parental cell uh, creates a clone of itself dividing in two, as we saw in mitosis in class. The temperature and the time it's a key, they are key factors in the growth of salmonella, and its optimal growth temperature is between 36 and 43 Celsius. Thank you.